Alright, quick news update for Ethereum. So, the SEC Chairman Gary Gensler has recently implied that Ethereum is a security and falls underneath his jurisdiction. This recently came about in an interview he was doing with Jim Cramer on CNBC's Squawk Box. Uh, what basically happened is he sidestepped a question about Ethereum's status quo as a security. He argued that right now you have hundreds if not thousands of these crypto tokens that have the basic attributes of raising money from the public and having a group of entrepreneurs that you might have on your show saying come hither we've got a good idea for you and that's okay in America if you comply with the laws and we've got unfortunately a lot of projects that are non-compliant so uh, I'm going to roll the clip over on this and then we'll just jump right back into this and wrap up the video. Look, this, this is a highly speculative asset class. Uh, we've known this for uh, a long time. The ups and downs of this speculative uh, asset class, Bitcoin, and hundreds of other tokens. And many of these tokens uh, offer the investing public, uh, or the investing public is hoping, I should say, hoping for a return. Just like when they invest in in other uh, financial assets we call securities. And many of these financial assets, crypto financial assets, uh, have the key attributes of a security. So some of them, they're under the Securities and Exchange Commission. Some, like Bitcoin, and that's the only one, Jim, I'm gonna say, uh, because I'm not gonna talk about any one of these tokens, but sure. Uh, my predecessors and others have said they're, they're a commodity. Working together, there's two great market regulators in this country. I have the honor to chair the CFTC, a terrific agency. I have the honor now to chair the Securities and Exchange Commission. A little bit different remits, a little bit different approaches, but working together with the banking regulators as well. There's, there's uh, work to be done there around what's called stable coins. Uh, there's a lot of work to be done to really protect the investing public. And many of these tokens right now um, are trying to operate, uh, they're, they're potentially non-compliant and I'll leave it at that, Jim. So there we go, that is the video clip on which all of these news articles are circulating around recently. Uh, I have previously talked about is Ethereum a security, and it is very black and white that Ethereum is an unregistered security. Now before you throw rocks through my window, uh, you do need to understand what an unregistered security is before you can say it is or isn't a security, so if you don't know what an unregistered security is, uh, feel free to head over to my channel, click on playlist, click on view full playlist, and it's my first video. Most cryptocurrencies are securities. I talk about everything you need to know, every caveat that constitutes a security. I talk about the Howey test, which is how the SEC define whether something is a security. Basically, the gist of it is what uh, SEC Chairman Gary Gensler said over here is if you are raising money for a new business, if you are basically telling people, come hither, we've got a good idea for you, you can make profit on this derived on the efforts of others, that is 100% what constitutes an unregistered security. Well, rather, it constitutes a security, and if it's not registered, which Ethereum isn't, then that is obviously an unregistered security and a problem with the SEC. This is very interesting, because it seems like the SEC has been heading after everyone recently. Uh, I think originally, years ago, they decided Ethereum wasn't a security, or they didn't go after it per se. Uh, they are now going after XRP, after they've got after XRP, they're now recently heading off to Binance, and this is just very interesting. This is almost like foreshadowing that at some point in time they could be going after Ethereum. So that's the news update. As always, Galway out. Peace.